Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, it is August the 2nd. We are going to talk about offset hooks. So what I want to do today is talk about offset hooks. I've been using offset hooks a lot lately because I've been fishing the uh, cover scat made by Depths. Uh, the Depths cover scat does superior with an offset hook because it lays so close to the body, and I'll show you how that looks in a minute. Um, there's different sizes that they recommend with this bait, and it is different across the board with different manufacturers, and it's the same thing that I found out back when I did a swim bait hook video a couple years ago. Um, not all number threes are number threes, not all number fours are number fours. So I wanted to walk through some of the differences, some of the nuances, and some of the ways that I like to use these hooks so you guys can better be equipped to do your fishing thing and be more successful. So I've got several brand of hooks. Um, I've got the Gamagatsus right here. I've got Eagle Claws, which are a cheaper brand. And I've also got the Worm Hooks offset by VMC. And those are really, really nice. And they all do different things and they come in handy for different reasons. For today's sample, I have the Fat Ica by Gary Yamamoto. And I'm gonna show you how these all work differently with this bait. There's other hook types that you can use with plastic baits. There's the um, wide gap hooks. Uh, you have different shank sizes. Uh, they all serve different purposes, but for today's video, let's just talk about offset hooks. First of all, what is an offset hook? Well, very simply, it's a hook that has an offset head, basically. And I'll show one to you and it'll jump out right as I show it to you. As you can see, there's a slight offset at the top of this hook, which allows it to lay snugly against the bait that it's hooked into. And the idea of these offset hooks is that you turn them back into the bait that you're rigging and that will give you um, a more sleek streamlined profile and it will catch less weeds. So let's just rig this up real quick. This is gonna be the Gamagatsu offset hook number three. And this is the Fat Ica. And I'm gonna show you how this thing rigs into this lure. So you come in through the top and you come out about, I don't know, about the distance of that offset, maybe a little more, okay? And then you turn this uh, thing around and you got now the hook kind of facing the bait. You can lay the hook next to the bait and kind of see where it's gonna come through. Now I would say that this hook is probably pushing the limits of the size of this bait, although it works fine. So what I do is I come down and I bend the bait and then I go back through and you can see the hook tip will kind of come up and penetrate just barely coming through the skin. And as you can see, that is a very streamlined rigging. And when you go to set the hook and you pull down hard, you can see that that hook will come out of that bait and easily hook into the fish mouth and hook the fish. Um, this is called the actual, this actual, hook is called the round bend. And if you notice, it has a very rounded, almost like you had a tube and you bent the hook around a tube. That gives it a round bend. And then of course the hook will be hooked up here to the line. And the thing is very, very streamlined. So when it goes through the weeds, it barely catches any types of weed at all. Now, as you can see, I've got the three aught hooks here. I've got another couple of packs. Here's a two aught and a three aught. And here's something that's interesting. Here's a two aught hook from Eagle Claw. And I want to show you what this one looks like up against that same bait. Now you can see this is called an offset hook as well. It has the offset, but it has more of an upward turn in the hook. And it has a little bit less of a round bend in the end, but the, it does end up being parallel with the shaft of the hook. So this one though, if you look at it, it's a little shorter than the other. So in this particular case, this might be a better choice for this bait because of where it comes through. It depends on what you're trying to do. So you can see a number two in an eagle claw works just as good as a number three in the Gamagatsu, which is why it can get confusing because you can't just send somebody off to the store and say, hey, grab me a pack of number threes. It's probably going to be close enough, but it could be too big or it could be too small. You don't know what you're getting. And then last but not least, um, and we'll talk more about these individually in a second, but last but not least, we've got the number ones which is the VMC. And here, let's just do something interesting. Let's lay these out together. I'm gonna to lay a number one VMC, a number two Eagle Claw, okay? And then I'm gonna lay the number three Gamagatsu. Now you'll notice that the Eagle Claw 
and the Gamagatsu look almost the same size. And the number one very, uh, you know, differs very little. It's about the same. Okay, so if you look here, we've got the VMC number one. We've got the Eagle Claw number two and the Gamagatsu number three round bend and the Gamagatsu just number three offset hook. And you can see the Eagle Claw and the Gamagatsu offsets are probably the two closest in size, although the Eagle Claw is a little bit longer. Um, you know, it really depends on what you're trying to do. I really like a round bend because I like my hook to come back around and kind of lay with the, the bait. But, you know, if you look at something like this, uh, Gamagatsu, it might be that you want to come through here, come out the other side, spin that around, and you may just want to kind of end up in the bait, kind of like a if you were jigging or doing some type of rigging or punching, sometimes you want that tip to be buried way in there. So there's just no way you're going to catch any grass or anything like that. Um, and another thought to give to these things is the actual shank size. If you'll notice, the two Gamagatsus are like a medium shank. This is a little thicker. This one right here, the Eagle Claw. And then this one is really fine and really small. So if you're fishing open, clean water, maybe a smaller bait, and you're not too worried about jacking those fish out of some tough cover, uh, these nice light wire hooks are really nice because you don't have to just jam the hook set. You can just kind of pull into them nicely and they set themselves. Um, the other hooks, like the Eagle Claw is pretty nice because it's got a nice, thick, hefty shaft. And we go to this place called Crusher and we've got a lot of uh, lily pads and a lot of tree branches and roots and things in the ground. So sometimes I have to put some pressure on these fish and some of these smaller light wire hooks, they'll bend. I mean, you can see right there, I can bend that hook. Um, so you might have to set the hook a little harder. Now, one thing that I do do is when I use these type of baits that are kind of small and pod-like in shape, I tend to take these barbs that are on the backside of these, and I pinch them down with my pliers. It doesn't hurt the sharpness of the point of the hook. It just makes it a little easier to get these hooks out of these fish because these fish will come up and gulp this bait like it's nothing, and it'll end up like halfway down their gullet, and you'll hook them way deep. So it's pretty nice to have a hook with no barb to be able to just run your finger down in there and push backwards and ease it out, and it comes right out. So that's something to think about. It saves the fish. You'll lose one or two. Uh, you'll learn how to set the hook a little softer so you don't like rip and tear the fish mouth, especially with these depths cover scats and these Yamamoto fat icas. It's probably a good idea. But anyway, I just wanted to come and walk through a couple of these different hooks and show you that not all offset hooks are the same. The depths cover scat and the fat icas, I would recommend the offset hooks and I would hook them nice and clean and tight to the body. And um, yeah, good luck. Happy uh, fishing. Hope you guys do good this week. Uh, enjoy the catch. I caught a big one this weekend with Pat. And, you know, he said it. When I catch fish, I show the videos. When he catches fish, you don't see any fish catch videos. Nobody caught any fish. <clears throat> Got him. There we go. That's a decent one. Pound and a half. Top water. Top water. All right. What did we learn there? Uh, don't know, dude. He freaking ate the shit out of this thing. Here we go, a little skinny mini. Hard bottom. That's a That's a fucking monster there, man. Are you snapped? No. Did you hook a carp? Oh, 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 that's a giant, dude. Fuck. Oh, shit, let me get my fucking rod and shit out of the way. Did you see that? That's a fucking monster, man. That's a five, maybe a six. Oh, please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh. Oh. Look how he's hooked. Look how he's hooked. He's barely hooked. Do you have a scale? Oh, he's really beautiful. Do you have a scale? I do. <laughs> 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 
It's okay, we know he's five plus. You zero him out. 412. No, do him again. <laughs> do him again, okay. Hold on a second. Zero it out. And that's, that's adding the handle too. That's okay, if it's a four, it's a four, right? Oh, clear. There it goes, okay, I'm zeroed out. All right, he's getting dry, so I gotta get him back. All right, go. Okay. 412, man. All right. 412, that's almost five, all right? Four, it's ounces, right? 412? Yeah, two. That thing looks fucking bigger than that, though, man. Yeah, let me get a picture of this bad boy. Cool. Oh, yeah, she went right down. 